Hi, I'm Greg, Riot Ghost Crawler, and I lead the IP team here at Riot Games. When we talk about the IP, what we really mean is the world of Runeterra, the different regions in the world, the characters, and then the stories that go on around those characters. I want to tell you a little bit about our plans going forward for 2020. Now, if you think back to 2018, we used that as an opportunity to physically build out the map. Like, what does the world of Runeterra look like, and where are all these cities and places you've heard about? And then in 2019, we focused a little bit more on a few of the regions and characters within that world. For example, when we released Silas into League of Legends, we used that as an opportunity to talk a little bit more about the relationship of Lux to Garen and also Demacia's relationship to magic as a whole. And then more recently, Senna helps to tell a little bit more about the Shadow Isles and the Sentinels with Lucian and Thresh. In 2020, we're going to continue to move the story forward, and we're going to use the opportunity of the release of Set to go into Ionia. So you're going to see a few different things happening in Ionia in 2020, including the Zed comics. On the topic of comics, we've been humbled by how many of you have read the stories so far that we've made with Marvel. We've done a series on Ash and a series on Lux. And right now we're in the middle of a series on Zed, where the first time you get to see behind the mask as Zed interacts with some of the other famous champions in Ionia. Following that, we're gonna hop back and forth through time with one of my favorite champions. Now, one of our biggest opportunities for storytelling in 2020 will come when we finally release Arcane. We talked a little bit about Arcane in the League 10-year celebration, but Arcane is the first animated series from Riot Games, where we follow the evolution of two of League's most famous champions as they grow up in the mean streets of Piltover and Zong. One of the challenges of telling stories inside of our games is that for the most part, Riot makes these large multiplayer competitive games. We recognize that single player games could be a great way to tell stories. So the way we're gonna to try to tackle that is through something called Riot Forge. Riot Forge is a way for us to publish third party games that take place inside of the League universe. We've announced the first two games already. The Ruined King is a turn-based role-playing game and Convergence is a platformer featuring a little bit of time travel with Echo. We're really excited about this project, and we hope that you get to experience the rich lore of League and Runeterra by the end of the year. During the League 10-year celebration, you may have noticed a few sneak peeks about our next tabletop game. We're excited today to announce Tellstones. It's a two-player bluffing game with perfect information. Variants of Tellstones are played throughout Runeterra, and we're working hard to make sure you feel like you're holding a piece of the Demacian one in your hands. We're really committed to exploring this space, so we've established a Riot tabletop team. We're gonna explore a lot of different types of games, some big, some small, we really hope that they're all something you love. So we're gonna continue telling stories that connect the world and characters of Runeterra, both inside and outside of games. From comics to Tellstones, and even Riot Forge, we're always looking for more ways to bring you into the world. Speaking of which, as one last thing, I want to tell you about some short videos that we're going to release later this year. They take you around different places of Runeterra. We call them Tales of Runeterra, and hopefully you'll be able to see some of your favorite champions from League of Legends, your favorite characters from Legends of Runeterra. Here's a sneak peek of Ionia. Thanks. What happens when an outsider destroys the balance of this land? Is this another one of your riddles, old man?